here on this very, very, very hot Sunday. Um, right now I'm taking a break in the house. Um, I got on some cute clothes because I want to go out and get some sun because I'm so, so super pale and white. But anywho, um, due to everything that occurred over the weekend, um, which was very eventful here at my house, uh, <laughs> well, actually the neighborhood, the whole neighborhood was involved really. <laughs> um, I just want to bring something to everyone's attention. Uh, and I'm sure that we uh, have discussed this some in some point in your life. Um, maybe not you directly, but you know, the news, the media, society, everything. Um, I do not like guns. Let's just get that out there. Um, and that is not my first um, resort. In an argument or in a confrontation okay so let's let's just put it out there I I am NOT against guns none whatsoever but I just I personally do not like them um, because they're dangerous and it's not the same as balling up your fist and rocking somebody in her fucking head um, if you shoot somebody in her head chances are they're gonna die so I don't choose to go that route. I choose to use my little bee fist. I got a little bee fist, but they hit hard like a bitch. Bow, bow, bow. <laughs> um, but I got into it with uh, the neighbor's kid. Um, I've lived in my neighborhood. Well, I've lived here for 15 years. I've lived in this neighborhood for 30 plus years. Um, Let's see. Back in the day, I used to get into it with her mom when they first moved in here, because she was just trash. And I'm I'm not I'm not slandering anybody. Um, I am speaking the truth, and there are proof. There is proof out there. Uh, many times has the cops been to her house for drugs and you know all kinds of stuff. So I, I I'm not talking shit. I'm talking the truth. Um. Now I'm dealing with her 20-year-old delinquent daughter. Okay. Now two years ago, the grandmother died. Now this bitch didn't get her shit together to the mom. Didn't get her shit together until two years ago. Why? Because she had to. Because the grandma died and she had to get off her crackheaded ass and go get a job. Go figure. Um, the house that they were living in, they got kicked out of because, well, grandma was dead and nobody was paying the bills because everybody was partying and being pieces of shit. So they got kicked out. They ended up moving in right next door, not to me, but next door to the house that they were currently in, that they used to be in. Um, moved in with the neighbor guy because, I mean, she's, she's whatever. Um, the daughter... The 20 year old girl that I got into it with over the weekend, well actually Friday, weekend's been nice, um, she just turned 20. She's, uh, I've watched her grow up. Most of her little life she has been uh, neglected and abused. Then as she got older, poor baby, uh, was molested by the mom's boyfriends, well guys, friends. Because she always had a house full of guys over there all the time doing drugs and partying. Um, so this little girl, you know, has been in and out of juvenile. And then when she got of age, in and out of jail. She's been back at her mom's for a month. And for the past three weeks, it has been hell. Um, before before she come back, everything was fine. Everything was peaceful. Uh, but now she's back, which I think she's gone now. I think the mom told her to go because she didn't want all that drama because... The neighbors are not going to put up with it, and none whatsoever. The cops were out here like five or six times Friday. Um, everybody was calling on these people because we was all out in the middle of the street. Uh, well, I ran out in the middle of the street. They all ran back. They made sure they kept their distance. But all I kept hearing was, bitch, I'm going to shoot you. On my mama, bitch, I'm going to shoot you. Um... I'm going to go get a pistol. I'm going to shoot up your house. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Bloop, 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 First off, people with guns, they don't talk about doing shit. They just pull it out and they do it. So, and I've had a gun pulled out on me before and I've lived a rough life. I've lived a crazy ass life before I settled my ass down and started doing what I should be doing. 
Um, so been there, done that, lived that kind of lifestyle, no matter who thinks I have been or not. I, I personally don't give a shit what you think or what you believe. Um, I'm not up here trying to brag about anything because it's nothing to brag about. It was a fucking, it was crazy. It was, uh, just, it was just crazy. But, um, my grandbabies were here this weekend and I'm not going to have people threatening to shoot up my fucking house. And then they said that my daughter was a drug addict. The, the little girl did. Uh, which my daughter already beat her ass when my daughter was 10. So, or my daughter was 12 and she was 10. Um, so, no worries on that department. My, my daughter is a beast. My, both my kids are beasts <laughs> just because of the life that they've lived uh, and, who, and what's in their DNA. Um, so, my daughter ended up coming over. She, she's not been around. She doesn't live here. So, I don't understand why this little girl was just talking outside of her neck. Oh, that's why. Because she's only been here for a month. She don't know anything. Um, before that, she was incarcerated. And before that, she was in girls' school. So, she's not even been over here or been around. Um, so, my sister told my daughter. And my daughter come over here. And she wanted to know who the hell was calling her to fuck out. Because here the fuck I am. Because... We're crazy. We we really are. We don't play that bullshit. Um, we don't like to fight, but we will. Um, and we do not like guns because I think guns are for pussies. Um, especially in a fight. Um, they're good for protection, but they're not good uh, to fight with. Because most people talk a lot of shit because they do have a gun. Um, and, and my thing is, if you ain't about that, if you can't fight with, if you ain't got no hands, then shut the fuck up. You, you don't really need to be running your damn mouth to anybody because chances are somebody's going to slap a taste out your mouth or beat your fucking ass. Um, but a lot of people, a lot of people nowadays like to run that mouth because they do have this thing called a pistol. And when somebody gets a pistol on them, they feel like they are Billy Joe badass and unstoppable. I mean, it might be possible, but only pussies use guns in a fight to cover the mouth, the the bullshit that comes out their mouth, and that's what I'm trying to get at. So all these punk kids were saying that they had a gun and blah blah blah. Um, there's about 13 of them out there, probably. No, nah, probably about 10. Um, nobody ain't scared of them, but. They, they range from the age of 14 to 22. Like, one was 22, one was 20. The rest of them were underage. So, ain't nobody scared of some little punk-ass kids. And I really don't give a crap how old you are. Um, but you're not going to walk up and down in front of my house and taunt me and everybody that pulls up to my house. You're not going to sit and do that shit because, no, it's just not going to fucking happen. Well, when my daughter got here and she was asking them, the bitch didn't come for her. It was dudes. So, immediately, I threw off my flippy flops. Because these are what I'm, I'm wearing right now. My little Skechers. Um, that are very comfortable. So, I do plug the shit out of them. Um, never wore Skecher sandals before. But these are very comfortable. Um, I threw my flip flops off in the yard. Ran out in the middle of the street. Talking about, what's up? What's up, motherfucker? You know, I, I, I'm done. This shit's going to fucking end. You're, you guys are going to go across the fucking street, smoke your fucking dope, leave us the fuck alone, or we can handle it right fucking now. Three dudes come towards me. Three kids. Dudes, whatever. I mean, you know. I, I, I don't have a, a restriction on knocking the taste out your mouth no more because the cops don't do nothing. And that's a whole nother fucking video for me to make. Um, if you come towards me and I feel threatened, I'm going to knock you the fuck out, okay? So these three dudes, these three guys started coming towards me. And I'm like, what? What? Y'all some pussies? You, you going to feel big and bad because you're going to be fighting a 45-year-old fucking woman? You know, because I kept saying my age because they think I'm so old and decrepit. Man, I will, I will school all you little fucking punk kids. I will do something your parents did not do. I will bust your fucking asses, okay? Um... And these kids are products of piece of shit parents. 
And I've already went through the parents. I've already dealt with her. This her, the mom didn't come outside. The girl said, I'm gonna go get my mom. I said, go ahead, go get your crackheaded ass mama. She knows she ain't gonna come out here and fuck with me. Her mom did not come the fuck outside. Nor did she tell her fucking daughter to act like she's got some fucking sense, but she scared of her daughter. Which, the girl has a lot of anger and animosity towards her mom, and I do not blame her. But I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I'm ever scared of one of my kids. Because even if, look, my son is like six foot three, 230 pounds. He is a big, solid ass man. I ain't scared of him, and I know he can whoop my ass. But by God, when mama grabs a baseball bat, that's a whole different story. Because Harley Quinn, Harley Quinn is my idol, baby. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anywho, getting off track. Anywho, what none of them about that life, not a damn one of them. The cops come back again. And I basically told the cops, look, I'm fed up with this shit. I'm not trying to be an old prude because I know what it's like to be kids. And I know that the coronavirus is going on. There's not a lot for you to do. So I don't care that the kids are drinking underage or they're smoking their pot or whatever. And I, and I told the cops that. I don't have a problem 